Hi Libra, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a collective reading for you guys, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what messages Spirit wants you to know today. This will be timeless from when you see it, resonate for the next week or so. You see one card kind of flipped over there, see if it comes out or if I can... Huh. Alright, we're going to shuffle... like a card was coming. Oh, I saw it in there. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just pull from the top and see. Eight of Swords in reverse. So there we go. Some air energy coming out already in the reading. I see you could be dealing with a masculine boss figure in your life. This could be someone that wants to offer you some type of level up. Could be a Pisces. Could be a water sign. Capricorn. Okay. I was going to say water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but I say Capricorn, so for some of you, it's definitely a Capricorn. Whoever you're dealing with, this person knows that you're really hardworking, Libra. Could be a new contract or deal together. For others of you, this could be someone of a family member. Whoever this person is, though, they really want to help you get to the next level in your life, so maybe there's that card. Maybe you've been feeling stagnant in your life, like there's been things holding you back from taking the next level up. You could really just be wanting to help others at this time or help your family, help those around you. I feel like some of you have been working on this project, maybe secretively, in order to bring some type of abundance into your life. High Priestess, so you know where you want to take your life. And basically, Spirit is giving you the go-ahead to go ahead and make these changes at this time. A lot of you are letting go of a past relationship and you could be meeting someone new. It could be a fire sign you're meeting, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a fellow air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But Libra, whoever you're meeting, this person is definitely not sure how you feel about them. With that being in reverse, they're not sure if you're both looking for the same thing in life or if you just want to get with them and kind of have a quick fling. With the lovers in reverse could definitely be a Gemini. And this person feels like you're someone unattainable, Libra. They feel like you aren't looking to settle down with anyone in particular. You're looking to have a lot of fun and focus on your career and your family. And I feel like some of you could have went through a recent divorce from someone you had kids with. Or if not kids, you had a long-standing relationship with this person. But yeah, look at that. Queen of Swords being in reverse. So this person doesn't know if you're ready to commit to them the way they are you. And this person views you to be someone who has just like a lot on your plate. So specifically, you could be very busy with your schedule lately, especially coming in the last few months. You could have found that your schedule doubled or tripled from your normal routine. You could have always had a day off in the past and now it's like you don't have any time to even entertain a relationship so this person's just wondering if they do come in your life like where are you going to stand with them and they feel like you could still have feelings for this past person as well that you were dealing with previously 333 three, three was just on the reading and funny because with the three cups there it really just represents the fact that they feel like you still have love for someone else this person doesn't want to be in a situation where they feel like you're holding on to the past or like you are going to jump in and out of the relationship from them to someone else. And this could already be what's going on in life, in your life specifically. You could have met someone, you could have been really into them, and then all of a sudden you were gone. And now they're just not sure if you still want the same thing as them. We're going to get some love messages after and see how this person feels. But before that, I do want to get an angel message to see if there's any clarity. I see a lot of you are focused on your health at this time too, realizing that if you're not fueling your body properly, it's going to be impossible to keep going. Like you could have increased your work schedule, you could have gotten a recent promotion that led to more hours at your company, or for others of you, you could have started your own business in a sense, and now you just like are go, go, go. But Libra, you guys are on boss mode and you're able to handle anything. When it comes to this love connection, it says, wait, it's not yet time. Things are being woven. So trust that it all comes down to timing from the universe and that you are going to be presented with an opportunity to bring this relationship to the next level. 
But if you try and force it, if you try and progress it faster than the universe wants it to, you're gonna find it's degressing at the same time. So five steps forward, five steps backward. Um, spirit just really wants you to know at this time to just like allow things just to be. Don't try and put pressure on it. Especially don't put pressure on this new person. Let them take their time to really make sure that you mean it with them in the connection. Because if you're going through a separation or a divorce or just like an ending of a serious relationship, you need to take the time to heal before you jump into anything new. And this new person really gets that. They see that you need to take the time to focus on you before entertaining them or any other options. But you guys may just be in a space where you really want to let go of the past and move forward. And so Spirit's saying, just wait, don't jump in yet. So it says, my family loves you. So whoever you've recently met, if you know their family or you've met them, they absolutely love you. They feel like you guys have a really beautiful connection together. And specifically, their family feels like you would be a good match for this new person. And that's a big thing to this new person because they feel like they need their family's approval in order for the connection to work. So it says, I need your touch. Beautiful. So whoever this is, they feel like they really need you to show them that unconditional love. You could be dealing with an earth sign masculine there, Libra. And if not, if you're interested in feminine, could be an earth sign feminine. So take it how it resonates. I often picture what life would be like for the long term with you and it makes me really happy. See, this person isn't in a rush because they're already picturing having a long term stability with you. So they feel like, what's the point of rushing this? If they rush it, the faster they rush it, the faster the passion could fade out or the faster that your attraction to them could fade out. But you know, when it's a true divinely guided union and it's meant to be in a relationship with that person, it's not going to fade out. So it says, do you forgive me for the past? So this really feels like your person's wondering if they've rushed you in any sense or said something like, are you healing yet? Are you moving on? Are you playing games? They want to apologize for that. It feels like they could have pressured you to give to this connection too soon. And now they're seeing that you are still healing and overcoming your current ending in a connection or a situation in your life. And you need the space and the time to heal as a human before coming forward to them. So it says, I want to come home. I'm ready to make things right between us. I'm sorry for ever letting you down. So whoever you're dealing with feels like if they messed up at all in any way, they want to be able to come back towards you and they want to be able to make it right between you where in the past it could have been a lot of stagnancy based on either like someone saying something too quickly or someone rushing away from the other person in fear of being rejected. So it says, I feel like the angels guided us together. I feel so lucky. This new person truly feels like you were a blessing to enter their life. And so they don't even want to lose you, even if you end up just being friends. This person really values the connection. I don't know if you heard the car horn honk, but there's the confirmation. This person feels like you are meant to be a part of their life, even if just as a friend or someone that they can open up to. So they have regrets for maybe pushing you into a corner in a sense of either like date me or leave me alone type of vibe. That's what I'm getting from this energy that you're dealing with from the past. But I also feel like with do you forgive me for the past, that could be your past person as well. Wanting to make that reappearance in your life or wanting to put a halt on a particular ending, hoping that you will be able to forgive them maybe in a sense if they've done anything to push you away from the past. And they want to be able to reconcile with you. So Libra, it looks like you have multiple options right now. You've got the past still lingering, holding on to you, hoping that you're going to allow them to have that one more chance to show them how much they want to be with you. And at the same time, you've got newer energy. Could be an air sign, could be a water sign or an earth sign specifically that wants to be able to have a new start with you. They also seem to have pressured you into a connection so maybe that's why you're kind of indecisive about both energies at this sense, feeling like, where was your pick? Where was your decision? You know, you've got all these options interested in you, but where was it that you got to decide who you want to be with? So it seems like Libra, you just have a lot of people trying to make your love life decisions for you. 
at this time you're being advised not to maybe open up to too many people about it as well because the more you do the more people are going to try and sway you in one direction or the other and it's like up to you just to pull back from the situation and take the time to really think about what steps you want to take moving forward some of you may decide not to date either you may decide just to focus on your career and wait for someone else to come in but others of you you're leaning more towards one person versus the other and you're kind of aware of what you want but it's all about just making sure it's like a clear plan and it's been established and communicated with everyone that's going to be your best bet at this time and i really feel like you have a lot going on in your career so almost like spirit is saying just take the time to focus on that and allow things to unfold naturally the more you do the more you're going to find a great sense of peace and a comfort in knowing that you made the right decision to just allow the universe to work for you more libra you guys are so so go go busy um you want everything to be like kind of like planned out and mapped out as how life's gonna be but that's not how life works so y'all gotta remember that and just trust that you know spirit really wants a beautiful union for you spirit really wants you to have a successful career life and overall a sense of happiness so trust that and you cannot go wrong on this new path forward these new journeys and for a lot of you you guys are almost too busy to even think about it is what it looks like i see some of you maybe taking a trip somewhere tropical to take some stress off ease your mind that could be coming up before the new year and really just know too in the new year that's when things are really going to take off and you're going to be able to see specifically that the decisions you made were meant to play out that way so thank you for watching. Go ahead, like the video, subscribe Libra and have an amazing day.